as we left off, you had negotiated a uh, boar hunt with Aldern Foxglove, <laughs> which went about as well as one would think, as he is an awkward piece of shit, mm -hmm. and nobody really liked him. And I then like we him. discussed the nature. Oh, well, that's that's someone. He's <laughs> we we spent a he's long time depressed. discussing the nature of logs and how to move log ahead. running. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, hating on these bridges. I still hate them. Yeah, <laughs> this shouldn't exist, and this one too. <laughs> this shitty <laughs> fucking river. Oh god. Also, I spent a lot of the time between labeling every single map token you can see. Oh wow. I I have both a lot of free time and not enough free time. And I don't manage it well. <clears throat> but you had also uh set up a meeting with the mayor of town Kendra Devrin after Amiko Kaijutsu didn't seem to be as talkative about her history or the history that she knows at the town claiming that she went off to become an adventurer during the um what's it called again the time of troubles around town that somehow escaped me at this current moment in any case uh, the, the last round of murders I think was uh, <clears throat> there's like a murder and the church burned down yeah, uh, a, there were many murders, and church burnt down, and a couple other things happened, but that's neither here nor there. You had negotiated to go talk to Kendra Devon to discuss it, and we pick up with it being time to go meet her. And what do you do? Oh, also, Amiko got yelled at by her father. And they are not on good talking terms, it seems. They, mm -hmm. they seem to hate each other, to put it lightly. Which is sad. Yeah. But to we pick up with you. Quite sad. Heading to Sandpoint Town Hall. Uh, do we get any sort of healing on the way there? Because uh, I don't <laughs> know why, but Lars is down quite a bit. Did I get hit by the boar? No. No. And I thought we healed you up after we did investigating the crypts or whatever. And then we had a full rest. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't so. know why I only had five HP. So <clears throat> just gonna heal that real quick. Oh, there we go. I feel so much better. Okay. All right. Uh, well, you guys wanna go see the mayor? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, that is what we plan to do, I believe. Yeah, we have an appointment with her, right? Yeah, we set, up, set this, one up the other time. day. This time, anyways. You met her secretary beforehand? Yeah. Well, uh, what do you guys think of that Aldern guy? I think he's a bit strange, but... Nice. He seems like a bit of a fop to me. His jodpers drove me crazy. In a uh, good way. He seemed oh. to know what he was doing on a horse. <laughs> the only one of us. <laughs> That's true. I was... Uh, I'm not really a uh, horse proficient, I guess. <laughs> okay. He said he was from... Um... Magnamar? That he did? Yeah. Why does this ride feel so awkward? Oh, uh, I don't know. Magnamar. I don't know. So do you all just slowly make your way to the Sandpoint Town Hall? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think that... I don't have anything that I really, like want to pick up or anything, so... No, I mean... Is, is there any reason we would go somewhere that's not the town hall at the moment? Not currently. Well, then we go to the town hall. The boneyard. Then we go to the boneyard. Boneyard. Yeah. The bone in the boneyard. <laughs> Driver, can we make a uh, stop by the boneyard real quick? 
Be sure to ask all the teens on the way if they've been yeah. to the boneyard. <laughs> okay. Um, as you get your taxi to drive you, your medieval taxi to drive you to the um, town hall, the you arrive at the front gate. And the doors are closed currently, but you would know it is not quite, it is, was it like one o'clock? That was around the t meeting time? That I don't fucking right. remember. That sounds yeah. right. Lars would um, um, just assume that he, uh, you know, they're ready to host him, so he would just push through and be like, let me lead the way. I've, <laughs> you know, they really like me around here, and uh, I'm a bit of a local hero. I mean, we all are, but, you know, I'm sort of the most recognizable one of all of us, so, haha. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, one, the, the one who can't be seen in a crowd, sure. <laughs> no, make... the one with the big hammer. <laughs> As you make your way... <laughs> I had to hold a pause for that one. As you make your way in, you see a heavily armored figure standing uh, at the front door... Uh, talking to the mayor or secretary, he's like, I can't let you in to see her. She's she's busy. She's setting up a meeting right now. Uh, Lars ignores whoever that is and uh, continues towards wherever the mayor's door is. He's like, we've oh, got an appointment. We've got an appointment. We're we're uh, we're headed in to talk to the mayor. Here here they are right now. Um, sir, if you can just wait to go talk to her later. Uh, the the um. The current goblin killers are here for um, meeting with her about talking about certain things. Um, I can I can schedule you a meeting later if you wish. That's you. Uh, what 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 do you say your name was, sir? Uh, Vren. Uh, yes, my name. It's um. I'm sorry. It is a uh, Vrenjalar. Rindular. Okay. Um, yeah, I can schedule another meeting later, or you can, um, if if they want to take you up there with you. I mean, that's that's their call. We Look, don't. I'm going to be honest. I'm only in town for the next five minutes if I don't have a job. I need to get going. Either get in there and I talk to her, I get a job, and you guys just have to figure out how, what to do with all the other big bad beasties in the woods a little bit later. I see. Lars. Well. Lars says. I'm sorry, Big Bad Beasties in the woods. You mean more boars or something else? No, oh, no. Verizia is filled with horrific creatures. The sandworms uh, to the uh, to the east. There's horrific hagfish in the, in the waters. And you just... In these woods, just in there, there's... Unspeakable horrors behind every individual bush. No, oh. wow, we we saw a hog. You should have seen this hog. There's... It was a terrifying hog. Came out of nowhere. Behind a bush. Behind a bush, yes. A hog. Oh yeah. From from a bush. The most fearsome hog of all time. It's quite an impressive hog, but we took it down. Without a scratch. See, these here stuck down a hog. I think we might we may have fought a different hog. And some goblins. Oh yes. Because uh I don't remember that hog being particularly fearsome. I remember it being extra fearsome. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I recount the story, it's gonna become more and more fearsome. Mm -hmm. This is how heroes do things. Just uh, FYI. If they have the love for Granger, I'm afraid I have no purpose to be a hero. Uh, kind of just like keeps looking at these guys just talking about how horrific this hog was and just like slowly looks back over to the receptionist. And just finally takes off his uh, like gladiatorial style helmet. It's like, all right, look, look, I'm handsome. He, he's <laughs> and as as he does, like, look you at see, me. 
a uh, the face of a half elf. Um, Ew. <laughs> it's short, like a uh, red brown hair. Um, that he kind of just has like slicked back. Uh, like straight at the reception, just like, look, I know there's some flying horse fucker in the woods around here and you know the devil's platter heading east to the deserts and I just I'm looking for a job that can get me there a little richer if you catch my drift well I mean uh we don't have anything regarding that right now, but we we have some odd jobs that maybe you can look into, or if uh, these fine fellows want to take you along, I mean, they might have something they're working on. He just, like, looks back at them. What are you guys doing? Lars uh, looks looks at you, and he's like, well, I'm not a particular fan of, of half-elves, but... Uh, or elves generally, any sort of elf, quarter elves, I'm not... half elves, eighth elves, I can kind of get along with. But uh, anyways, but uh, well, what, what what sort of uh, what's your trade? What what do you pedal? Lars goes by the one drop rule. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, he's a fucking kind Christ. of like a Jesus Christ. Hang on, I gotta I gotta breathe for a second. <laughs> okay, uh, he. Kind of just like, like wraps on his uh, his uh, studded that he's wearing. He's like I'm a bit of a monster hunter by trade. Honestly, I take odd jobs here and there, slaying creatures. Uh, you know, just getting paid. Uh, how do you feel about goblins? I, uh, I, I don't just hate them any more than you hate my kind. I guess. Mm. Mm, okay, that's a problem. Yeah, well, I, I yeah. don't know. That's a good start. It's a good start. Listen, you know, we're, we're always willing to bring someone into the group and uh, train them up to where they Are need we? to be. Are we? <laughs> are we even a group? I, I think by default we kind of are. We're the only we people who mounted any sort of defense, and we've all been deputized now. Oh, that's the other thing. Uh, but... Oh, we are all deputies. You're not. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, listen. Sorry, deputies let's, only. <laughs> let's consider this. Hey, guys, guys, huddle, huddle up real quick, real quick. Let's huddle up. And, uh, you know, he would, he'd say, listen, we could, uh, we could, you know, sort of have this guy as our, our assistant, you know, sort of run the basic menial errands that we don't really care for. Uh, yeah, you know, so just coffee. asking teens. Right. Exactly. Let's just haze him. Yeah, hazing. Yes, this is a we'll we'll frame it as a trial period. Um, I thought right. that's what I thought that's what we had Odin for. This Did is Rush just Week. Say go wow. around asking teens. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> he can. Uh, well, no, he can. He can. Maybe we can have him record all the conversations that we take, and you know, he can be like the note taker, uh, something like that. Elves are good at writing, ah. right? Is that? That's not racist for that, me to say that. That's a serious. <laughs> <right? laughs> <laughs> It's not and bad. Like, they just everyone knows elves are really good at writing, right? Like, like yeah, yeah. Kind of like huddled around. He just immediately whips back to the receptionist and he pulls out like his bag of coins. He's like, "Listen, I have ten gold coins. Get me in that fucking room with, with her right <laughs> now." And, do. and uh, right now, Lars, Lars would be like, "Oh, oh hey, uh, actually, actually, we can get you in uh, right there." And he like holds out his hand. He's like, "We we can get you into this meeting. That's no problem." She I'll takes take the that money. No problem. <laughs> She yoinks it faster than any of you can. <laughs> he, he, oh. You're glad to give her the ten gold. Just all right, there you go. All right. Well, uh, wonderful. Anyways, I'll it, I'll lead you up there once uh, the the clusterfuck over there is done uh, chit chatting. Uh, is no, that no. a group name? He can he can come with us. <laughs> we'll have him uh, sit in. Is that the group name? Okay. <laughs> um, if all of you are done, I'll uh, lead you all up there. Lead on. So as she stands up from her desk and heads like puts down a sign that says uh, "on on break," and she begins walking up, leading you upstairs to the second story of the Sandpoint Town Hall. She leads you to a simple wooden door bearing a brass plate with the word "Mayor Dever" or the words "Mayor Dever" impressed on it. She opens the door for you and announces to a plain-looking human woman with short, practical, dark auburn hair. 
that the Hears of the Festival and an additional Monster Hunter have arrived. Upon seeing Mayor Kendra Deverin, it is obvious to anyone that she is exasperated from the recent ordeals the town has come under as she is starting as she is staring at a large swath of paperwork on her desk while holding a small glass of brown liquid and she is holding a document in front of her face as she notices you come in she quickly sets the parchment down and adopts a forced relaxed facial expression and addresses you ah hello uh i suppose this is the first time we are formally meeting uh, I apologize for not being able to meet you sooner, considering the service you did for this town earlier. Um, and uh, you, sir, who I don't recall. Um, I, oh, I'm new. I see. Uh, name my name had... Varen, pleasure to meet you. Uh, welcome to Sandpoint. Uh, my name, as you may well know, is Kendra Devern, and I am the appointed mayor of Sandpoint. Uh, my aide told me that you requested a meeting with me earlier, and I... Uh, Sorry that I wasn't able to do that. I was busy helping orchestrate some of the town reconstruction efforts. Um, I am told it's to do with the touchy subject of our town's unfortunate recent history that um, a lot of us would like to see stay unmentioned. But for, for what you did to the town and from what Hemlock told me, you've done a great service around town and aided us during the crisis. And Hemlock seems to trust you enough to deputize uh, the four of you. And my aide seemed to trust you to bring you in, so I see no reason not to share some of our town's uh, sordid past with you. Uh, but what are your questions? Uh, yes, Mayor. When uh, was the last time you've been down to the boneyard? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Mayor, uh, you don't have last to answer that, but, uh, you know, uh, if you're not busy later, maybe we can circle back on that. But Mayor, Mayor... <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, don't worry about it. I think I'll it. refrain from answering that question. <laughs> Rain makes an exasperated, just like <sighs> Mayor. Now I don't know how familiar you are with goblins, but in my experience, they're not—they're not quite this coordinated. Um, the fact that they had the raid at the same time that they looted the tomb. To me, that that's a little suspicious. I mean, I'm just you know your run of the mill yeah. dwarf, but uh, I don't know. Do do you think that there's someone coordinating the goblins? Do you think that there's someone I don't know using them to their advantage? She takes a drink from her whiskey and like leans back in her chair and looks up like I I don't know. I know there are there are five major goblin tribes in the region and. Traditionally, they're pretty good at keeping each other in line with their intertribal squabbles and the like. From what I've been able to piece together, members of all five tribes were involved in the raid on Sandpoint. A fair number of the Mosswood goblins I dealt with yesterday were already pretty beat up, and there were there was a lot of chatter about the long shanks who killed so many of them. Now that I've met you, it seems obvious from their descriptions that that's who they were talking about? It seems like you made an impression with them. Um... In any event, the fact that the five goblins are working together disturbs me. They usually don't get along unless they've got something big planned, and big plans require big bosses. I'm afraid someone's moved in on the goblins and organized them. Judging by these recent raids, their organizing seems like bad news for all of us, but... I personally don't know. We have, um... Have they done have this before? Scout? Not in a long time. Longer... I haven't... I haven't... I, don't, I think it was... Maybe back when I was a young child, but not anything on this scale. It was. What, what uh, would they benefit uh, in attacking a small town like Sandpoint? Maybe hoping to erase us off the map, I suppose, in some form or another. Trying to set up a goblin kingdom or some such. I, I have no idea. <laughs> what well, does the town bother them? Ah, uh, well, we. Whenever they get too big and start raiding some of the merchants that we send out that's when we usually send out a little a little guard escort to kind of clear the air between us hmm. uh sometimes they get a little pushy but nothing crazy uh we have a scout who usually goes around and keeps track of that uh she's not she's unofficially a part of our town council her name's uh shalelu and sona she's not due for about a month now, I think. Oh, she's pregnant? No, she's <laughs> she's not due to come back for over a month, I, I believe. Oh. 
Yeah, she she usually <laughs> makes rounds every once in a while, but she's been out for a while. So she wasn't at the boneyard. No, for, <laughs> as far as as far <laughs> as I know, no. Another boneyard baby. Mayor, <laughs> yeah, see. Mayor, it, it, it may be worth worth sending out a uh, you know runner to her, get her to come back, and and maybe we can plug her for some intelligence. Um, she she may have a, some insight into coordination for this goblins. I see. And uh, oh, it, it, since you say that, I'll send my aide out to get someone. Uh, th- Jennifer, Jennifer. J- and like just a hand shoots back that just holds up like the little plaque that says I'm on break. And it's like, God damn it. Okay, <laughs> I'll um I'll handle that after this meeting is done. Okay. My contract um, has a five minute smoke break every hour. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> this guy gave me ten gold, that's a year's salary. Goodbye. <laughs> Fuck. Peace. <laughs> I quit. Bye. Quit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's probably the cushiest job in Sandpoint, honestly. <laughs> Right. Uh, but uh, any any other questions? I, did I'm sorry, the, I'm not more help. No, that's okay. Did the entire town get hit, or were there any spots that got hit more heavily? Um, honestly, I think it was mostly around the the north gate where y'all were mostly set up around the um uh, down Church Street. But there were there were some strikes around uh, the Sandpoint Harbor across this bridge. Or across the Turand Rock River, the some goblins were spotted stealing logs from the lumber mill for whatever reason. I have <laughs> no idea why this. That shouldn't be there. <clears throat> there was some uh, goblins using this as an advantage to start stealing more junk from the junk beach down on Junker's Edge, but um, hmm. I I think there were some down Glass Street, down by the Sandpoint Glassworks, but I haven't. Our guards said they did a clean sweep through most of it, through all of it. I, I think they cleared it out. How many goblins are we talking here? Oh boy, um, I still don't have a full count of how many goblin heads we've been having, but um, what's 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 the bastard's name? Um, the man down. Gosh, what was his name? Oh, it was Davern Hosk of the Goblin Squash Stables. He's been. He started up a thing offering a bounty for five gold for every pair of goblin ears you bring him. Mm. So if mm. if anyone have a closer count, I think it might be him, or for the count so far. Mm. Um, if anyone would, I assume he would, considering he's paying five gold per go- per pair of goblin ears. Um. Um. Why? Do you, is there any reason that the goblins would have attacked right at the closing speeches? Why would they, how could they have known that that was underway? Yes, I... did you distribute some sort of, uh, you know, itinerary? No, uh, usually it's, well, I mean, we usually have a sand, a little swallowtail festival around this time every year, because that's just, just what time we do it usually. Um, down in the bone. <laughs> no, I can't do that. <laughs> uh... That's just what time we usually celebrate the Swallowtail Festival. I I don't know why it was seemingly timed with Father Xantus's Thunderstone. It, maybe it just so happened to also be the signal for something, and they didn't know that we were also going to be a Thunderstone, so maybe it was just mistimed. Hmm, I, I honestly that's, don't know. Sounds like too much of a coincidence. I've got, I've got two more questions, Mayor. The first... Mm-hmm. Do you know what this robe is? And he, you know, shows off his purple robe that he's been wearing. I just, I found it I... in the tomb, and, uh, you know, I mean, I don't, no disrespect, but it's quite a nice robe, and, well, Sheriff said I could take it, uh, just to be clear. But secondly, that's, that's less did important. He? I, I'm sure he did. Um, that looks, if, if you found it in the crypt, isn't that evidence? No, oh, well, I, I mean, legal experts still agree on exact, still disagree on exactly what uh, evidence is. But, anyways, the second question is uh, the the kaijutsus. There's, um, I don't know if you heard, but uh, Amiko's father came in earlier and uh, made quite the scene. Um, but do you oh, know dear. anything else about that situation? Uh, and for I know a little bit, but not. I, I don't pride myself on keeping uh, together the town gossip, uh, but unfortunately I do know this. The kaijutsus have a unfortunate past in town. They Their family hails from 
uh, Minkai and the the eastern uh, regions. I don't know. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but um, they. What's the fucking word? They traveled here a long time ago, and they've been set up as the Sandpoint Glasswork. They helped our town make most of the glass we have here in their uh, throughout there from their grandfather. Um, I know that Amiku's mother died uh, around the same, not quite the same time, but around the same period as the late unpleasantness, which is what that event was called, where um, there was a string of murders, arson, and it, it was very unfortunate that she was, I, I suppose, murdered uh, during it. I don't know when or why, but she was one of the victims, I suppose. She just Horrible. went missing. Yeah. And ever since then, her father has been a, well, a sad man, so to speak. A sad excuse for a man. The fuck does that say? It's kind of rough for, uh... Yeet cat boat. For, for anyway. <clears throat> Sorry, I just noticed the boat that somebody labeled. Uh, anyhow, um, and then they had... She had a brother who was sent off somewhere and they had an Amiko and her father had an argument and then she left for some time but she yeah. came back downtrodden and bought the what what is now the rusty dragon and renovated it herself alongside some others but she, she went she went adventuring yes yes I, I don't know what made her stop but it, I don't, I don't know if it was good or bad, but she came back with a lot of money, and she mm. bought the building and renovated it alongside some of her friends in town. But I currently don't know why. But is there any other information I can maybe help you with? I think that covers uh, all the questions I had. Um, Bryn here is is sort of new to the town. I think he was looking for a job, but I mean. Uh, Right. Sounds I like think, I found one. Yeah, I think uh, we'll we'll take him down, maybe introduce him to the sheriff, see if we can get him deputized, and he can uh, see. join our little investigatory group. Oh, oh God's telling me I'm not going to be following them. <clears throat> before I forget, um, Allergast and Emil Bar Barrett are asking for some help from you all. Um, they need... It... <laughs> It seems like there's a uh, goblin still left over in, I think, their child's room. And they requested your help clearing it out. But um, we seem to have a special request for Lars uh, from a woman by the name of Shayless Vender. She said that she wanted uh, you to come down to the general store's basement and help her clear out some rats. Oh. I, I don't know why she requested you in particular, but I suppose it's... No problem. I don't see why she couldn't just get a uh, Potaker to put out some poison rat or rat poison out, but I suppose they're tough rats. Well, I am quite good at hitting small rodents. Maybe she heard of my prowess. <clears throat> Mayhaps. Uh, oh, one more question, Mayor. Um, yes. I'm filing for a business license to sell. Uh, Gopher Festival related merchandise. Uh, is there any chance oh. you could expedite this process for me? And he, uh, like... uh, for for a uh, Europe standpoint, I can certainly make that happen. Excellent, excellent. I'll uh, make sure to make sure all my paperwork's in with the, uh, you know, the the Council of uh, Finances, and, and make sure that uh, all that's square, so that there will be no issues. Wonderful. I'll uh, once my Aid is done with her um, break. I suppose I'll see if she can get with you at some point and help you uh, figure out the forms for that. I think she's uh, long gone, Mayor. She's she's probably off uh, off retired and uh, with the amount of gold this guy gave her. How how much did dance you... with you without these? How much did you give her in the room? Ten gold, I thought. Ten gold. Oh. I usually only pay her a couple silver a day. <laughs> That's Holy fine. Crap. That's fine. Probably gone. Shit. Yeah. Anyway, Honestly, yeah. I'll I'll put out a help on that. 
I'll pull out a hop wand of that. It'll be fine. Now, anyways, now since I am mm -hmm. quite literally penniless at the moment. Well, hey, uh, this this fellow over here actually needs a job. Right there, you she go. Like raise her eyes go. and like. <laughs> I think you're more suited to more difficult work than maybe. Um, I'm. Secretary. We've already established he can write. Yeah. <laughs> no. His kind are quite good at writing, yeah, I heard. Very proficient writers. <laughs> Why I are mean, you come on, Mary. Like it's it's, it's 49.58 AR or whatever it is today. I mean, you know, secretarying is no it's longer the current just year. <laughs> it's current year. Uh, men can be secretary too, even elves. <laughs> even elves. Even <laughs> elves. Oh my Fucking god. Christ. <laughs> Um, anyhow, uh, I, we'll see if, uh, Hemlock can see what you're, uh, should I, at. We can see should I be asking you how much this goblin infestation getting that cleared out is going to pay, or should I ask this Hemlock? Um, I personally don't know what it's going to pay, but I can certainly see in making a stipend for you um some form of reward yeah i can i can uh get on that right right i'm just i'm trying to make my way east i'm trying to get to the cinder lands there's a there's a hunt going on and i'm just looking for some coin between here and there well uh five gold per goblin here from uh what's his goddamn shit uh davern hosk at the goblin squash stables uh, he'll certainly pay you for whatever ears you bring let's him. go hunt down every goddamn like, goblin we can find he like kind of like uh you know taps his head and he's like oh, i got that one already in there anybody else fancy a bit of genocide i hear pays <laughs> well oh dear <laughs> honestly goblins aren't my specialty i'm more into the magical beasties but i'll be more than happy to uh rid of this infestation for a bit of coin well, there's certainly a lot of magical beasties out here in Varigia. For... That is another thing that I am... That's currently what I am doing. I'm a, I'm a monster hunter. I've traveled Varigia for the last couple of years. Oh, fantastic. Uh, well, uh, Sandpoint certainly welcomes you in your work. Very well. And you know, if I... you... Looks back over to the rest of them. Glad to be here. If you <laughs> uh, need any assistance, I'm sure I can talk to... Uh... Sava and get you with a 20% writ uh, discount. Right. Um, I might take you up on that offer. If you, uh, you. If you intend on staying with this uh, crew for better or for worse, as she like looks over your shoulder at them and it's like, and she like leans in and whispers, I'm so sorry. Just wanted to hunt. Fucking, I can I'm hear you. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I know, and I could hear you when you said my people write well. Yeah, yeah, how'd you yeah. take that? Was That's that, a compliment. Was that that, it is a compliment. But is, listen, Jeez. I wish, I wish somebody would say that I write well. <laughs> <laughs> have you well, seen first you'd have to write well. I mean, yeah. But, They're gonna say yeah. first you have to write. <laughs> first you have to learn how to read, dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, hey, listen. Readings for uh, people who don't have, you know, giant hammers. <laughs> Reading is for anyone that old saying. with any amount of gray matter between their ears. And he, like, as he's walking out, he just kind of, like, pats on the dwarf's head. So, like, let's go get fucking paid. I'm not talking yeah. anymore. You guys want to go check out the uh, the Barrett? It was the Barrett's house that they had, uh, they, they were saying there was an extra goblin there or two? Yeah. <clears throat> or do you want to go to Shayless's basement? It sounds like a job for you. I mean, I could go check that out on my own if you guys want, but that the also sounds The dwarf can go like... to the boneyard, we can go kill some guys. No, 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 we're going to the basement, <laughs> not the boneyard. There's... <laughs> Don't be silly. You might be going to both places. No, uh, I don't know that sort of magic. G give me a little bit and maybe I'll uh, multi-class. <laughs> Okay. So now, I think if Lars hears that there's more goblins, he'd want to go take care of that. Yeah, let's do the goblin. <clears throat> okay. So you're not splitting up? Uh, not quite yet. 
She did specifically request you. At your earliest convenience. Lars would, I guess he would look and, what, what sort of weapons is, uh, is Vryn carrying? Uh, Vryn has, uh, on his, um, right arm, he has a, uh, kind of a, a shield, like a lighter shield made of steel, uh, short sword on his hip, and, um, a Cestus, uh, on the same arm that he has his shield nice. on currently. Nice. Yeah, Lars, Lars would look you up and down and say, you know what? I think you guys might have it. I mean, how many goblins could there be, you know, hanging around left? I'll go, I'll go check out this, um, what was her name? Shaylin? Shaylis? Shaylis Fender. I'll go check out the Shaylis situation. You guys go handle, uh, handle all those extra goblins. Uh, again, Mayor, just, uh, once you get in contact with Shalalu, uh, let us know. We'll, we'll have to talk to her. Uh, can do. And Lars would say, oh, uh, where does Shalus live? Uh, different look. You can just mark it on this map here. And she marks down area 26, the general store. And Lars would say, find... um, well, listen, I, I okay. <clears throat> Hitting some rats in a in a basement shouldn't take long. Killing a goblin shouldn't take long. You guys want to uh, reconvene at the uh, at uh, Amiku's place, that bar. But what is it, Rusty Dragon? You guys want to reconvene yep. there? Uh, m- maybe a couple hours. Sure. Yeah. Why All not? Right. All right. See you guys there. And Lars makes his way out. Okay. So has the party splits up? which can only mean good things. Um, <laughs> you begin making your way to the general store, and inside is a burly-looking man by the name of Vin... Vender. Diesel. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. <laughs> Cannon. Yes. Uh, I see. love you in such movies as... Triple X. A triple X 2. <laughs> State of the Union. Quadruple X. <laughs> Quadruple, Quadruple X. Boneyard. P90X. <laughs> P90X. <laughs> the Fast of the X. You goddamn Fast. <laughs> the X of the Furious. <laughs> Sequel. 2X. 2X two, two series. God damn it. All of a sudden, As... you, hear, you hear someone say, Do you know why they call him DK? Donkey Kong? Because he's Donkey Kong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, life has, is pain. As you make your way For in and you see a burly looking man by the name of Vin Vender, as he goes, Oh, hello. Um, what, are, what are you here for? Are you here to buy or here to sell? Oh, uh, uh, that's me, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm talking to you. You're the only one in here. As you walk yeah, into course. this um, plain-looking general store that seems to be empty aside from you and him. Uh, yeah, I, uh, well, I was just talking to the mayor, and uh, she said that uh, uh, Shaylin was, was asking after me to help uh, handle some rat problem. Oh, Shaylis. Oh, yeah, I, I guess we have a rat problem. Um, I'll, uh, I'll go get her. And he, like, walks over to... Uh, set of stairs that goes to an up upsta- uh, an upstairs and she goes Shayless Shayless that uh that guy you wanted is here to clear out the rats uh I'm gonna I'm gonna go take a nap you deal with it I'm I've been busy all day she'll she'll show you where where they are okay so, and, sounds good and Lars uh, would start wrapping uh wrapping his problem solver with a little bit of cloth and and like a you know just some like cotton padding and be like we're gonna do this uh, the humane way okay and as he goes upstairs a young woman heads downstairs and this is what she looks like oh my goodness <clears throat> oh. God. <laughs> Lars is and... like very like oh uh, hello um how are you doing uh, I heard you have a rat problem <laughs> Yes, yes, I do. Um, hello, uh, Lars. Uh, my name's Shayless Fender. Yes. Um, uh, under, I understand. If, All right. 
I just figured since there was a band of yours in town, I wanted to talk to the strongest of them. If you can follow me downstairs to this um, basement so we can kill those rats. And she winks. That sounds good to me. And she leads you down to a... She grabs like a lantern and begins heading down a flight of stairs. <clears throat> and we will, and as you move down the stairs into the darkness, we cut to the other party, who are going down to the Barrett's house. And as we get there, you see a a woman clutching two small children, and she seems panicked and like like looking around constantly as if trying to see if anyone's coming. And as she makes eyes with um. Odin, as you're coming in, she goes, "Oh, thank goodness! You're 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 the heroes we we need, right? The the the, the heroes of Saint the the Swallowtail Festival." Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Oh, oh my goodness! It's it's awful. Um, I. Oh dear goodness! Oh goodness! Um, so. Oh God, there has been some problems lately. Young young Aaron here claims he saw a goblin light a cat on fire during the festival, and then it capered around the burning remains. The poor boy hasn't really been the same since, and every night he just screams since this has happened, and his house and poor my poor dog pedal into a barking fit. But when uh, when my husband Allagast claimed to went to go check on the just check on our small chung small son Aaron. Why did I say chung? <laughs> he claimed there was a closet goblin, which it just seemed nonsense to us because you and the guards cleared them out. And all our guests kept telling him to just be a man, and he would he would make him sleep in the woodshed if he didn't man up. But did he check the closet? Uh, no. Well, I mean, I think he did. I wasn't there. He just uh, then a few uh, oh goodness, and then last night when he had his most recent night terror, uh, Petal cried out in pain, and Aaron's screams turned shrill. And this time, I don't think it was just a nightmare. I here, let me show you. And then she shows you her youngest, her oldest child's arm, and it's like covered in bite marks. I I don't. I, I thought he was just having nightmares, but it, I think there was an actual goblin in there. Can I roll survival to identify the, the bites? Yeah. Make sure it's not himself. Not 20. Uh, yeah, those are goblin teeth. Fantastic. Those are goblin teeth marks. Like, it looks like he's been trying to, like, gnaw on the... Almost like he was trying to bite the arm off. Well, I could not rightly say why it is a goblin would be randomly gnawing on the arm of a child, but this is most certainly the work of a goblin. Before before we ran, um, Allergast stayed behind to attempt to kill the goblin, but we, he, he hasn't been out. It's been three hours. I, I went to go get someone from the guard or the the mayor to send someone, but it's no everyone's busy handling everything else, and please, please help find my husband. Your husband have a weapon, him. He, I, I don't remember. I think he had a knife. I don't oh. know. And uh, Vryn's gonna go ahead and put his like gladiator style helmet back on. <sighs> All right, I think it's time to do this. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and move to the map as she is inside the house, but. Uh, well, outside the house, and she leads you to the house as we go to this area. What and... sort of half-baked day laborer can't deal with a single goblin? They're only really dangerous in swarms. And why did this goblin not just kill her son? Oops. Like, why is he gnawing on their arm? Children are notoriously chewy. <laughs> Goblins are also so He's just rationing quite out inept the kid. and stupid. <laughs> There's a big run on kids at, at the Goblin Costco, so he's rationing out what he has left. <laughs> <laughs> All the kid aisles are fresh clean. They've been picked clean. Yes, yeah, due to the due to the virus, you know, everyone's grabbing kids. It's, oh no. 
The oh, human no. traffickers can't keep up. <laughs> 24 packs of kids. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and we come to as you are being led down the stairs into the basement, Lars. Tashi leads you into this room. We're just going to cut back and the other party's going to be dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the off-screen death is a uh, uh, yeah that might be a off-screen TPK might be a, a first <laughs> yeah. cone yard on and meanwhile everyone but Vren's dead just like what the fuck's happening Isn't that we we did the Johnny magic <laughs> <laughs> god damn uh, yeah, I, I forgot I, about Johnny essentially magic. yes Yep, we essentially off screen killed Johnny Magic. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> we we did what the kids call a retcon. Of course. <laughs> retcon is an entire character. Um Retcon him right in the life. Lars, as she is leading <laughs> you downstairs, I need you to make a sense motive check. Okay, oh, this, this is a flat D twenty reel because Lars is um well, he's he's Lars. Oh, are we not going to watch this? Oh boy! Yep, oh. that's... <laughs> okay, I'm going to roll oh, good here. Yeah, she's like, oh yeah, I just need you to help me kill these rats. Wink downstairs. Wink. Wink. <laughs> Lars is like, uh, yeah, how, how long have you had a rat problem? Um... Ever since my sister started going up to the lumber mill. Ah. Those two don't sound like they'd be related, but I don't know that much about rodents. I do know how to take them out. I, I assume you heard me talking about Gopher Fest, and that's why you uh, chose me to be the exterminator. Sure. Uh, anyhow, just follow me over here to this uh, carpet, and she... I forgot to put in an actual bed. Give me just a minute. Or we oh, had right. one, and then okay. I lost it. Time, time for some ERP. <laughs> oh, boy. I know I have one. In this Twitch stream band. Yep. <laughs> It'll be fine. Follow me to my carpet. I mean, the carpet. The bone yard. <laughs> That'll do. And uh, My poor she now stands in front of the bed and then starts trying to wait. I need you to make a perception check. <laughs> Do you see the bed? Uh, let's see. What's up, oh, man? I got a flat. This is a flat check again. God damn it, Lars! Oh hey, there we go. Wait a fucking minute. There aren't any goddamn rats in here. Well, Lars, Lars is like. <laughs> Lars is like. Uh, looks like you don't have a rat problem. It's, um, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm looking all around and I checked under the bed. I checked all these corners. I mean, there's no rats here. Uh, listen, give me a call if, uh, if they do come back though, I, I'd be happy to clear them out for you. And, uh, he like, he's just, you know, heads back up the stairs. If he doesn't see anything, he's, Come you know, on, don't you want to? And then she like, oh God, I almost grabbed the bed. Uh, she. Stop grabbing oh, the bed. Be able to see something. Yeah, it's not and then 22. she just fucking throws the bed. <laughs> I've yeah, I'm trying to select her, but it keeps selecting the fucking entire bed. Because I just oh, see I, the map. Yeah, we're still I can see a map too. Yeah, you are on. Oh god, I've deleted the fucking bed. Oh, ro roll twenty. <laughs> no, we, just yeah. Hey, don't you hey. want to? Oh. <laughs> we still see the map at the end point. You did. Wait a minute. Here we go. Okay. Hey. I thought hey. I moved you to the right. My bad. But oh. um, uh, she leads. She like jumps on the bedside and like, come on, don't you want to spend some time with me? Mm. Lars, Lars looks at her very. You seriously. get to do it in front of a boar. <laughs> <laughs> the pig head stays up during <laughs> sex. You're some ass boar. You're talking about. <laughs> I heard oh you were a gosh. boar hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Let the boar oh, see you take dream. this woman. <laughs> no, I want him to watch. No, Lars, Lars would look at her very seriously and say, 
uh, I'm flattered. B- believe me, I'm flattered. But uh, uh, there's <laughs> there's only one woman. <laughs> he looks at her sternly and goes, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his eyes, his eyes pop out. His jaw hits the floor and is like, <laughs> oh, woo, <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> but uh no he would say okay. he would say uh i'm, I'm sorry there, there's only there's only one Why one woman for me and uh want to spend time with me <laughs> listen you you don't know me this is <laughs> kind of weird and uncomfortable are you I'm, refusing me right now uh yeah that's I'm, I'm at least glad you figured that out uh is he just going up the stairs just not even talking yeah he he would be he would be sort of what? like over his over his shoulder, like good to meet you. Uh, like I said, I'll take care of any rat problems. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh, you, oh, God! And she just starts like slamming her fists into the bed, like you'll regret this. Don't think so. <laughs> you son of a bitch. We've all been there, am I right, fellas? And then, <laughs> and then we <laughs> cut back to the crew outside the front of uh, in a. S- slight small wooden hallway as uh what the fuck no you didn't change delia's token oh fuck right uh where the fuck is the you're somewhere beep bop beep Boop. i am legally obligated to make these sound effects as i click things on my computer sure My computer is fucking dying currently. No. The archer pops out of existence. Did your computer get the coronavirus? I it feels like it. What in the name of furry? There we go. And you are in a small wooden hall. Has uh Miss Barrett is telling you, like, it's right there, it's right there, that door on your right. Bryn is willing to take the lead in this situation. Okay. Delia stays back. Um, I don't have control over my pod. Oh, fuck. That's what I forgot to do. Um, I'll go into stealth. There we go. I'll roll stealth check. A, a Rab and I will say to Vryn, let's, let's see if we can just not kill it the minute we... It might have information we can gather from it as to why they came here. All right, uh, I guess it technically doesn't say if the goblin ears have to be attached to a living or dead body or not. Here's the reason, I guess. Just let me know when she opened the door. <laughs> we kind of, do we all want to try and be sneaky about this, or do we just want to do it? <laughs> Do it in the boneyard. Oh, I'm going. I'm um, going in sneaky. I mean, we could try going in sneaky. All right, and uh, he's gonna try and stealthily open the door. Okay. Nope. Very okay. sneaky. Perfect. As he applies boot to door. Wasn't <laughs> a natural a one, all right? Body slumped up inside of a little dresser. It's face. It's like head and upper body are inside the dresser, mm. but the rest of it is sitting out, and the body seems slumped to the floor. Uh, uh, can I roll perception check to see if I can see or hear anything else before I go into the room? Go ahead. Uh, it looks like we need an alchemist fire. <laughs> the whole again. the whole house just burn it. Don't do this <laughs> call it call it extreme fumigation. <laughs> it'll it'll take like five minutes for Lars to like walk back and assuming it's taking that amount of time to get in here. You are looking around. Gotcha. Uh, Very long staircase. Yeah. Uh so twenty, do I see or hear anything currently? Uh you don't see or hear anything aside from the body that you think like the 
they don't seem to be breathing. Vren just turns to her and was like, I think the husband's dead. We gotta be careful with this goblin. Oh, what a surprise! He hasn't come out in three hours and he's dead. <laughs> hey, I'm just, I'm just saying what I'm fucking seeing. Just tone down the sass, please. There oh, also God. seems to be a dead dog on the floor that has its huh. throat ripped open. Fantastic. Well, we need that already, too. <clears throat> Um, can I mage hand something open? Like, is this other side of this dresser open? Uh, or is he in the dresser? He is, like, inside the dresser. Okay. Before you do that, uh, Vern's gonna get his, like, shield ready, and he's, like, out. Shield's out, ready to rock, if need be. Okay. Yeah, is there anything to open, Cars? Uh, the dresser is currently open, but only on the left side. Um, the platter seems to be like a leftover food and some books that the young son had. And also a cup of water and a lantern over here. Okay, I'll mage hand open the other side of the dresser. Okay. Uh, as, as you're doing that, Vern's gonna shout out in Goblin, um... Listen, if you come out with your hands up, no weapons, we're going to let you live. If not, what might happen to you? Make a diplomacy check. Okay. Or bluff, if you're bluffing them. Uh, uh, either way, it's not that great. You're going to assist them? Yeah. Assistance is just a flat 20, right? Yeah, uh, if you... If you make a okay. ten or above, you get it. You get that too. Uh, fourteen. I, mean, I see. Um, you hear like a small chattering here, and as you open it, you see uh, Allergast's face has been like ripped off. The man is dead as shit. Hmm. Gotcha. Uh, we don't see the goblin yet, though. Well, there's a chattering coming from the dresser. Perhaps we yep. should have... Oh, we don't. Perhaps we should apply fire, like Odin suggested. <laughs> uh, two blue squiggles up here. Uh, are those um windows? The, curtains. the purple okay. is the window. The windows are currently covered. Okay, gotcha. <sighs> Vern's gonna take a uh, step forward to about uh, here, and he's gonna say she's gonna shout one more time in uh, in Goblin, just like, "Listen, my patience is already being worn very thin." Crew has... of chuckle fucks. As you say that, uh, a Goblin comes launching out of the closet, screaming, "Die, Long Shank!" Oh, I put it to the map layer. Uh, here, yeah. Uh, one goblin comes launching out, followed shortly by another one. Oh. Kill them! Kill them all! They begin to. Sc nope. Fuck! I put them in the wrong goddamn layer. There we go. Okay. And combat has started. And Lars, you can roll 1d4 to see how many rounds it'll take for you to get there. <laughs> God damn okay. it. Okay, <laughs> they're all, they'll all be dead. You're just moseying around. He, he's like, uh, he's like looking over his shoulder like, no one's following me, right? Like, <laughs> I am good. No one saw that. <laughs> You just take a few laps around the town. It goes, takes a cold shower. <laughs> Man, that shit was fucked up. Okay. And... 
I'll just leave you up the turner. Uh, okay, and with that, it is Arab and I first. Um, she will cast sleep. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any place I can cast it that's not going to get Vryn in it. I start now. <clears throat> oh, go yeah. to the party. Fall the fuck asleep. Yep, good night. Is it a 10 foot radius? Yeah, it's a 10 foot radius burst. I think right here is probably. Right here. Uh, Maybe right. Yeah, right where. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna cast sleep. So. Okay. Um. Roll a will save. All right. I'm gonna use a villain point because both of we all get fucking hero points here, bud. <laughs> and I think if I use it before, I get to add an eight to the total. You sure do. All right. What? You know, it doesn't really help when you just roll a one. So the one on the left immediately is like, I've got... <laughs> and just falls over on top of the corpse. Just asleep. And the one on the right is like, what the fuck are you doing? Wake up! But uh, it is... Would you like to do anything with your move action? They both... What was the DC... Uh, the one on the right made an 18. An 18? Yeah. He's still asleep. What the fuck is your DC? DC 19. God damn. At level 1? Wow. Yup. Okay. I feel like we may have made our characters a little too strong. <laughs> <laughs> I have Fey Ancestry, which gives me a plus 2 to Compulsion Enchantment. And my feat is, uh, Spell Focus. I see. Enchantment. Between my archery, Lars's hammer, and a nice fucking sleep. <laughs> like, that's well, it's pretty impressive. And uh, combat acid. is over. Combat is Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. could it grow? It's Vern's turn. We don't need both of them. And Vern just looks back. He's like, "You're welcome." <laughs> That's ten gold right there. And uh he's just he's gonna he's gonna go ahead and coup de gras them. Or at least one of them. Let's just tie one of them up. Can we do that? I do or have knock some one of them out. Well, well, need, he, 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 straight, he turns back around, he straight up like, Well we only need the one. And he's just gonna grab grab the one in front of him and just kinda like break its neck. Ah! I'm bad. Good for you. Hey. All right. Uh, there's one remaining goblin of the non-broken neck variety. What do you do? I do have some rope. Okay. I suppose I tie it up. <clears throat> you have a tied up goblin. A dead goblin. And a faceless corpse that you presume is all our guest. Uh, can I find the face in the dresser? Is it still in there? Um, no. <laughs> you think the goblins maybe ate it? No. Uh. There seems to be a hole in the back of the dresser where they had, like, chiseled into the wall. Hmm. Into a small compartment behind the um, house exterior and the house interior. And is a it, dead dog. Is it just a tunnel, or is it... it? It's just like a small like hole in the wall where they... Like, make a survival check. Okay. Oh, can I survival again? It's a four. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, it's just a hole in the wall. You don't know how long ago they've made it, but... Looks like they were here long enough. Seems As funny. Lars walks into the room. You guys, you guys are not going to believe what happened to me. <laughs> Turns out, <laughs> she didn't have rats at all. Oh, really? What did she have? Uh, 
I think she had the hots. The hots for me. She had racks. Oh, she had low. St oh, she had low standards. All right. Ah, yeah, well. Very low standards. Is that a, is that a height joke? <laughs> if, <laughs> if the, Not only was if it the a height joke, fits. it was a stupid joke. And he if says that he's like cutting the ears off of the dead goblin. No, oh, very, very nice work. Uh, what's uh, what's going on here? We got a little uh, green mile situation. <laughs> Yes, it's a naughty poster hanging in the uh, dresser. Replace naughty poster with corpse. You mean the Sh Shawshank Redemption? Oh, yeah, it's Shawshank Redemption. Why did they say the Green Mile? The fucking Green oh, Mile! <laughs> yes, we're, we're going to electrocute them later. <laughs> after they, after they steal all our cancer. You prepared shocking I'm grasp, right? You. God Why damn it! <laughs> Listen, Lars is a little true to life, uh, is all I'm going to say about that. Ow, fuck, my elbow. Hit my elbow, man. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, it seemed like Olagos was climbing in there to try to kill the goblin, then he himself had his face ripped and his throat cut. And it seems like they were trying to eat him. We but, uh, he's quite search, heavy. search the dead goblin. As you loot the corpse of the dead goblin, the two dead goblins, you find on them a potion of cure moderate wounds, one each, uh, small shitty studded leather armor, a dog slicer on each of them, yeah. and about 12 gold total. I'll put that into treasure and spending. Well, I mean, at least they used the weapon to its intended purpose. Correct. Yes, that is the one thing that I would draw out from this situation right now is the goblins are correctly utilizing their uh, their weapons. Yep, that's that's the yep. conclusion I want to draw here. So did we kill, did Vryn kill both of them? Or just the one? No, one of them's tied up, the other one's dead. Okay. You guys, uh, you guys want to kill this one or Vryn you, you want to question it? Vryn killed this one right here. Okay. Let's, I'll, be, uh, I'll be perfectly let's, honest. I have no idea I what we're we doing with this one. I just wanted to tie something up. We can attempt to question. I can. Burn a burn a burn a burn a. <laughs> nice. If you just wanted to tie something up, I think maybe you should go talk to Shayless. Uh <laughs> Well, perhaps I will. <laughs> God damn it! So, I guess we'll wake this other goblin. Oh yeah, I thought, I thought it was cure moderate. Oh no, it's cure light. Oh, was it? Did I... you, you said moderate earlier. You said moderate. moderate. Oh, I okay. Yeah, they are moderate. My bad. I fucking can't read. Dwee. So. So we wake the goblin up. Okay. Ah. Ah. And I'll ah. lean uh, up as he's waking ah. up. Bryn has like the dead goblin who he has like the two ears cut off of. <laughs> Like, just pointing at his face, he's like... And he says in Goblin again. Oh, that's great. Good. Think Wait a minute. This is gonna be you. Oh, sh And the worst part about it is you won't even hear it coming. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good! Is he, he speaking yelling common? Louder. He's speaking in Goblin right now. Like, this is not good! No, it's not good. You Quite honestly. Uh, what's the word? Um, fucked up. You fucked up real bad. He's just looking back and forth, like, oh, shit, sh sh trying to see if there's any way to get out of here, like, God damn it, oh, 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 As Vr Vryn's just like, I know what those eyes are, you're panicking, you're trying to find a way out. It's, there is no way out. You either tell us why you're here, can't that be you taken and captive, your can't be taken captive. stupid tribe have been doing to this poor town, and, uh... You'll never... And then from there, we'll decide what we do with you. You'll never, you'll never figure it out. Your boss, boss made sure to tell us to keep it quiet, keep it, keep it safe. And, Not tell uh, anyone. Who is your boss? Lars would <laughs> say <laughs> as he uh, spins Problem Solver around <laughs> in his hands. It's a big goblin that makes all the rules. You should know that. Lars, you don't know. Lars speaks goblin? Uh, no, oh, no, he doesn't. So he would just spin it around, threatening you. <laughs> okay. Rabbit and I will pretty... lean, will lean down and go, 
Do you speak common? Why is she yelling at me? He's still speaking in Goblin. Uh, I think uh, this... he's a stupid. He's he like looks up to. It's like he's a Goblin. He barely knows his own fucking language, let alone ours. Hang on, I I heard a story about a guy who hit his head and then was able itches. to speak Goblin. Uh, let me try this real quick, and Lars is going to uh, hit him. God damn it, God damn it Lars. <laughs> The goblin? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming that hits is flat footed if he's tied up. Uh what would that be? Just grappled condition? I think it would be pinned. Pinned. Yeah, that makes more sense. Uh Tierlap is crashing. <laughs> uh flat footed, yes, that does hit. Okay. Um I've got too many creatures loaded up. Yeah, I Lars, Lars again. He's going off this uh, the whole idea of someone hitting their head and being able to speak a different language. But I think he's just going to outright kill this goblin. Well, he's he's trying to hit for non lethal, isn't he? Uh, non lethal, I'd take like a minus four to that, so probably not. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, think, I think he just killed Good the goblin. Lord. Wow. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Lars! <laughs> Bryn, like, just is still squatting next to the pulp and is just like. puts his hands on his head. Well, <laughs> to whatever listen. date he listens to, I'm just. Ah. Uh, you guys have to admit it. Man. It was a good what? idea. No. I know. Idea I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. I will not. I will not admit to that. Well, well, I thought. I don't I'd know. Know. Let's check his pockets. Maybe he has a note. <laughs> no, he doesn't. We already looted him. All right. No We're journals. In goblin. All he said was "big goblin." Is that what I got out of that? Yeah, there's a big goblin that makes all the rules. God, the the, the poor fucker just fought it after he died. <laughs> oh. God damn. And like he's he's upset with Lars. He's like, Lars, we could have gotten any information so we could figure out where they're from, what they are doing. And then as he's saying this, he's picking up the ears out of the pulp and putting them in his pocket. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I think we'd have a better uh, better chance uh, listening to that that ranger who's out there. Um, I, ho I hope she comes back. She's probably got more information and can communicate it in an intelligent way. I understand that I. Speak their language. Oh, I didn't might, know that. <laughs> might be an unfortunate. I, like, Bryn straight up rips his helmet off and it, like, just like, are you? I was speaking it just now. Oh, I it thought you were doing some sort of intimidation routine, some sort of elven uh, witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> was that the sound of him just stomping something? <laughs> this might be an unfortunate time to say this, but I also speak their language. <laughs> You Brent speak goblin? Stands up. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. I just, uh... Up and looks... Oh. Listen, guys, wow. I, I need to... I really screwed the pooch on this one, uh... Stands up, he's like, I never fucking should have fucking left out so long. I should have just stayed there. Should have been a gladiator the rest of my life. I would have been rich. Would have been rich. I would have been a slave. But I've been a fucking rich. And he just, like, storms out of the room. Oh, would have been fucking rich. <laughs> you upset our new friend, Lars. And to be fair, the goblins were the ones that screwed the pooch. Oh, yeah, well, we're... Did that guy just say he could be a slaver? <laughs> make a make a perception check. <laughs> Who? What is my perception? Lars. Lars. <laughs> yeah, it's a 14. <laughs> it sounded like he just said slave, but... It, it just sounded like just slip. Lars, Lars is just like, well, that's probably nothing. <laughs> well, anyways, what do you guys want to do? How about lunch? <laughs> I thought we had lunch on the cart on the way home from the boar thing. It's like 2.30 now. Yep. How about a second lunch? <laughs> oh, could never say no to a second lunch. <laughs> Good old lunch. So what's our Good. next move here? Other than lunch. 
Dunch. I was about to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> I felt it coming <laughs> over the airwaves. Yes, what is our next move after we eat lunch? Dunch. Dunch. <laughs> we eat again. Boy, we just we just keep eating until uh, until we die, I think. Until it's dead. Should we and check we out uh the Kaijutsu's glassworks? Because the mayor did say there were goblins down there, too. Ah, uh, yes, that was a plot point, wasn't it? Yeah, we could do that. No, As um, that. you are discussing this, uh, Emily... Uh, uh, what the fuck was their last name? God damn it, I had it a second ago. Barrett, yeah, Barrett. walks through the right door right. and is like, Oh my goodness! <laughs> Brent is oh behind goodness. her, just like, I said don't go in there, your husband... Oh no, she's in <laughs> Hey, good news! You're single! <laughs> and she, like, falls to her knees at the floor and just starts crying and pointing at, like, her husband's, like, exposed meat face. <laughs> and just starts, like, pointing and shaking and, like, weeping, like, oh, he's, he's dead. He's dead. Oh my goodness. And, like, her child is about to come through behind you, Vryn. What do you do? Uh, Vryn just, like, rolls a pin, closes the door, and turns around, just like, Hey, kiddo, you ever, um... You ever seen a dead body? <laughs> <laughs> you ever been to a Turkish prison? You ever been you to want... the boneyard? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go outside and play catch? <laughs> so I think that's the best option. Sorry, what, what, is, what does Brent say? I'm sorry. <laughs> Closes the door and, like, crouches down. It's like, hey, you ever, uh, you want to play hide-and-seek? Uh, what? Forever? Let's go play hide-and-seek. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with mommy? Why is she crying like that? She's just afraid of some goblins. There's no, there's nothing are, big. Are the goblins still alive? And he, like, clutches his arm. Oh. To be. No. And it's sort of all your fault. <laughs> Daddy's dead, and it's your fault. <laughs> it's, yeah, you could have told him that there was a goblin oh chewing God. on your arm. <laughs> you know, like, Brent looks him in the eyes, like, do, do you want them to be dead? I, I, yeah, I want the goblins to be dead. They, they're dead. They're well, good Happy news, birthday! Kid. Okay. <laughs> I, I got good news he's and I got very bad news. Like, <laughs> this is why I should never make a serious character. I, I like, I'm part of groups like this. He like I'm puts sorry. his hand on shorts like they're, they're dead. They won't hurt you anymore. Okay. Is mommy okay? He says. As his mom is still just like clutching some token on her and weeping, just staring at like a door. Yeah, well, good thing uh, he can't see her because the door's closed. Yeah. Um, oh, no, she's, like, right here, and I imagine you're right here. And the kid's, like, right in front of you. Oh, okay, yeah. He's, like, uh, she'll be... She'll need some time, but she'll be fine. Uh, Lars would Lars would say uh, to her, listen, um, it's horrible what happened. Oh, God. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Horrible what happened to you, but no, uh, no, no. I, I listen. You tell Father Xantis that uh, you know we we want to make sure that you're provided for and taken care of um, with with your husband, you know, dead now and uh, being a victim of uh, the goblin attack. We'll you know what we'll probably do is we'll set up uh, some sort of victims fund, um, you know, that you can you can have a settlement nice. from and. Uh, those who are, who are more effective can, <laughs> who are more affected can, uh, you know, get get more gold out of it to to help cover just the day to day needs and that sort of thing. But uh, I, I want to let you know that that we're we're gonna we're gonna help you out. This town, uh, well, it's been kind to us, and all we did, all we had to do was kill some goblins, and uh, we're really good at that. So, so it's nice that you're kind for something that's so simple and easy. Okay, I. In so f and in so far that dying an embarrassing death against a weak enemy goes, he did die a hero. Yeah, that's right. Your husband, uh, listen, he didn't, he wasn't just a, a victim of random circumstance. He, he was a, a victim of, of a goblin war. 
Think of him as a, a war hero. Uh, as you are like, talking, uh, a familiar individual makes his way over. If I can find his fucking token that I had. Uh, several people appear to have made their way over. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, no, that's, 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 the, that's the wife, and that's... Oh, including no. a Nickelodeon and an Abomination. <laughs> I, I had... There's some stories behind them. There's quite oh, a few gosh, stories yeah. To be, I don't know about this, but Nigel Thornberry used to be another one of my character spawns for a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's made yep. his way around in uh, Cars' games, huh? Uh, I'm just waiting for a Tonka truck. <laughs> the scarecrow. The Tonka truck, truck and to... uh, Ringo Starr. <laughs> oh God. Has a <laughs> sheriff Baylor Hamlock makes his way like what's what's going on? What's going? Oh. So as he like pushes through and makes his way in, and he sees like the court. He's like, shit. All right, man, back up, back up, back up. And he pushes her away and just like I'll I'll take care of these. Uh, too. Don't worry. I'll. They got family. Uh, thank you. And as then, he like, leads them. as he passes, Brain Burns like, when you're back, I need to talk to you. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, Sheriff. We've got him here on a temporary deputy. Uh, what tryout period? I would say. I know we can't deputize him, but you know, we figured we'd vet him for you. I can paid. Oh. I'll, I'll see that you're getting paid, sir. Uh, thank you, thank you. And uh, he just trundles on with the thank crying mother. Someone has brains in this fucking <clears throat> department. Uh, they leave shortly, and you are left there in this house with three corpses now. Well, actually, four if you're including the dog, which you should. Honestly, it's the most important of them. All. Yeah, we don't really count uh, goblin corpses as corpses. Really, people. <laughs> I like the scarecrow does have the brain. That is very true. Very true. <laughs> Incredible. <clears throat> we'll, uh... a skull on the desk. That's a, is that a skull? Yeah. I just grabbed the wrong token for something. He's a theater kid. That's the best. Oh shit! That is. Time. Yeah. Well. Yeah, he's a theater kid. <laughs> Lars would say that. <laughs> so, you guys won't believe this, but uh, Chalice, I think she tried to uh, seduce me. And anyways, I'm going to avoid her and her dad for a little while. Um, I, I just... What's uh, wrong with uh, the Chalice? And she just, again, tried to seduce me. So, I, I, I think she might be a little bit spurned, I think is the word. Uh, I'm not really interested in establishing a new romance here. I'm more of a business minded like to you know get my shop set up and minded is a strong word for it hey hey why don't you mind at your own business tall guy a is, role in the basement is harder yeah, than you literally dragged me into this i'm getting paid to fight the goblins yeah listen we're all getting paid and, some way or another uh and i just didn't want to i was trying to way. get i was trying to get information on this guy and he points to the mushed head to find out where they came from and who the boss is, so we can have some intel, so we can infiltrate. You are batting a thousand today, uh, You have a jilted, a jilted you... lover and a dead goblin. Listen. Bush, so he would speak common. Yeah, well. I want, before you speak, I grew up in fight pits. Sorry, I missed uh, And something. I have met Sand with a Is higher it? IQ. Oof. Oh, I don't think that's true. I wasn't very I No, it is very much true. Lars, uh, Lars is saying, listen, sand. buddy. A rabbit eye backs up. Listen, buddy, I, uh, for you, I'd, I'd, you know, calm down just a little bit. <laughs> you old it, popcorn. Should I? <laughs> should I? <laughs> and he turns to the rest of them. It's like, or is it just? Is it is it just me? What the believes Lars has absolutely nothing going on between his head except for his hammer? I, no, I'm afraid you are not on the. You are not alone on that one. Listen, I don't do okay. much, but what I do, I do very well. Uh, I hit things really, really hard, and uh, that is true. Uh, yeah, we just saw that. Happen. Yeah, 
He sure killed that prisoner of war quite well. <laughs> <laughs> this time on Rue Lords, the gang I violates like the Geneva one. Convention. <laughs> 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 I, I mean, I killed him. He's not really. He's funny. Uh, music starts playing. <laughs> I, I, you get. I mean, he he killed a man. He killed a dog. These guys are murderers. They're goblins. To be honest, have you ever met a goblin who knew what was really going on? I knew one fellow by the name of Bracco a couple years back. <laughs> Sounds quite intelligent. <laughs> I fought goblins. Sounds like a good top. Years, and this is a very. <laughs> Easy way to get off to just get any information. Tie them up, threaten them, claim you're gonna cut off their ears like the friend. Yeah, can I cut off their ears? They already done. He already yeah, he has ears. them. Yeah. All I'm saying is in his all pocket. Cut. Like, all nope. I'm saying um, is I I doubt the rank and file goblin knows that much, aside from maybe his boss's name, which I mean, no <laughs> offense, but I think we can figure smart. out the boss's name. That's that's not gonna be that difficult, right? There's <laughs> there's five tribes, there's five bosses. It'll probably be something like Bramblefoot or or Munch Thunder or I don't know. That's that's a good gobble. I like that one. That's Munch a Thunder. good gobble. Yeah, Munch Thunder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, a rab and I will like look at Fierce Vren and say, down Munch Thunder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll look at Vren and say, "Listen, we can pick on Lars, but if you fuck with him, you fuck with me too." I am ignoring all this and rooting through the kid's stuff to see if he has any cool toys. Uh, he, he has a Tonka truck. He has like a ball in a cup. Oh shit! <clears throat> I start playing with the ball in a cup. <laughs> Just start. Does he have that one game where you gotta get the rings on the little stands uh, with the bubbles? <laughs> yes, uh, I just saw one of those the other day. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, what do you guys think? You uh, you want to go talk to Amiku? See, uh... I try not to. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go talk to Amiku. Let's go talk or to Shayless. We just... Yeah. No, I <laughs> What's going on with Shayless? Not talk Let's to turn Shayless. a train on Shayless. <laughs> the boneyard. Yeah. That was awful. Why did I say What's that? Oh, Let's invite Shayless to the boneyard. Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> So, Anyhow. are we going well, to Lars, the... You want to meet up at the boneyard, uh, you and Shayless? No, I think, I think I'd like not to talk to Shayless. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. So, should we go to the glassworks, or is there elsewhere to go? Well, we need to get lunch first. We do need to get lunch. Sorry, second lunch. Second. Yeah, second lunch. Dunch. What are we, hobbits? <laughs> Eleven I mean, I mean, none of us are halflings, so not really. Uh, a rabbit and I will walk out. Okay. Yeah, so I, I guess we're going to go get lunch and then head to the glass horse. Friend, you, you coming with? Or is that the corpses? It's just like... Like really, like over exaggerated shrug. Just like, I guess. <laughs> don't don't let him get to you too much. Eventually, you do learn to stop thinking. Oh, yeah, stop stop thinking is like the first thing I learned to do. <laughs> As he walks out, he's like, "I pray the day that I stop thinking." And with that, that where he shoots you... me in the face. I, and I will keep that in mind. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, where do you choose to go get lunch? There are several options in town, such as the Hagfish. Uh, What's the, the shittiest looking place? <sighs> Probably the Hagfish, if I'm being honest. Let's go to the Hagfish. Let's go. Hagfish, Hagfish Odin, go. Odin would know that. Ah. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, because you've, you you've live lived here? around Sandpoint, you would know like that's the place. Why would I know that? Uh, you've you grew up next to the hagfish. Oh, 
Your dad owns the, the hagfish. I live in the hagfish. <laughs> I am the hagfish. <laughs> oh my god, everyone. The sequel to I am. are all the hagfish. <laughs> the hagfish was the friends you made along the way. That's right. <laughs> Wasn't the gold. <laughs> For the fame. Wasn't Vryn the, just the talking Gallagher about how... The hagfish. What, wasn't Vryn <laughs> just talking about how horrible the hagfish were? Yes, the monster, not necessarily the tavern. I've never been to this oh. shithole. Uh, the scarier the monster it's named after, the, the better the food, in my experience. Where is that? Uh, first of all, let me see if I can find a handout to represent the thing that you just did. Hmm. There's that That's... that kid that killed his dad. Why is that goblin almost cute? <laughs> Pathfinder. All the goblins are weirdly adorable. <laughs> Honestly. Um. So you go to the hackman. No. Better question. Why does this dog look at, like it has a robot eye? I I, I, I was I, like, I, is no. that dog named Kano? Like I <laughs> legit thought that. <laughs> You know, bet you wonder what these knives are for. Honestly, for real. Kano the dog! His name is Petal? Yep. Her name is Petal, yeah. Oh my god, I love it. Kano the dog. Thank you. <laughs> it doesn't look like a Petal to me. Oh, I used to main Kano. I was very bad at that game. <laughs> which, but which version of Kano? Because they're all uh, equally X. probably not great. Uh, X Isn't... was the most decent version of him. Isn't there a Kano curse where it's like every actor who's ever played Kano has like died or ruined their career or something? Or is it something to do with like when you adopt the Australian accent, crimes must be committed? I don't think that's really a, a curse of like whoever plays Kano ruins their career. It's the fact that they're in a Mortal Kombat movie that ruins their <laughs> <Right>. career. <laughs> uh. You're not wrong. <laughs> but uh, I, know, anyhow. I, think, I think it's just the actors, not the voice actors. You know, but um, as you make your way down to the Hagfish, which uh, seems to be a very popular tavern with fishermen and gamblers, you you find an old one-legged man named Jargi Quinn, who uh, has you come in. You see behind the bar is a large glass aquarium, where inside is a uh, fish. It seems. Where the fuck? I had a handout for the the goddamn creature, it looks like. How come I can't? Did they really not have a handout for fucking Nora? Really? Is the I have a handout for Arsenic. Named Nora? Huh. Let me see. Oh, goddamn. Lars would say, uh,. Bryn, you said that these hagfish are, are scary monsters? It doesn't seem all that scary to me. Hard Has it like finally gets the hand that out. I can't. F it is a horrifying creature. Let me see if I can. Let's pull up an image. Oh, I just pulled up an image. They are like weird eel things. Yeah. Yeah. You have to mm, a satisfying lunch. Fishermen villages on the sides of coastal areas. Even some trade vessels. That is what you see uh, behind the bar in the aquarium. Has it like presses as you come in? It presses its mouth up to the glass and begins like trying to suck. Like... <laughs> <clears throat> And uh, the Lars, old, Lars says, man that's goes, exactly Hello. what Shalis was doing. <laughs> <laughs> that is uncanny. I envy you. Uh, hello. Oh, that, is, that is absolutely adorable. Uh, welcome, welcome to the Hagfish. What can I get you? We got a seafood. Literally platter. anything with alcohol in it. Okay. Uh, can do. Um, that'll be uh, five copper. Uh, are you the one that I'm giving these goblin ears to? Uh, no, that would be a. Uh... God damn it! I just fucking name. Uh, don't, don't worry it's... about uh disem 
about a. It was a, a Daverin Hosk out of the Goblin Squash stables, I reckon. Don't don't worry too much about your uh, mutilated Goblin pieces. I, I'll cover your lunch. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, we also have a challenge, as you can see, above the, uh, above Nora's tank. It seems to have been replaced dozens of times. Um, is a nail with a leather pouch bulging with coins. Mm. It, uh, if you uh, throw me a silver coin and I'll put it in that bag, I'll give you a little, uh, drink challenge. Lars says, I'm in, What's this? and puts down a silver immediately. <clears throat> what? Oh boy. What's this challenge? Oh, if you can stomach the the drink from the hagfish water, you can uh, win a bundle of coins. Lars's eyes go a little wide, but he's like, and like Yeah, no, I can do that. Alrighty. To say and something he... and he hears it, Lars is like, I'm, I'm gonna do it. He's like, no, I'm not gonna say anything. Figure it out, buddy. He pulls down the bag of gold. <laughs> I just left the picture of Kano and Emoji <laughs> Right. Um, <laughs> I'm afraid honestly, the uh, sorry. I'm afraid the only way Lars learns anything is by experience. He pulls down a mug and scoops it into the tank, and as it goes in, you see it has some resistance. As he's like, Urgh! and then he comes back up, slimy, viscous water, and then he like takes your gold coin, slides it close to him, puts it up in the bag, hands you the cup. And just sets it down in front of you as you are staring at what seems to be like slimy water. <clears throat> oh boy, uh, Lars looks at it and he's like, ah, "Yeah, this. Uh, oh, I think I've heard about this." Uh, and he he takes a deep breath. It and... has the consistency of honey and curdled milk. <sighs> oh yeah, but Ugh. none of the taste. And he like you can Make... he, you hear him breathing and like he goes into a rage just to be like. Ugh. All right, all right, I can do this. And he, like, slaps his face a couple times. Make a will save. Oh, it's will? I thought it would be four to two. To, like, <laughs> bring it to your mouth. Actually, no, for Lars, it wouldn't be a will save. Just make a four to two. Okay. I... Lars. <laughs> you know what? My bad, Lars is dumb enough. He just do it. Yeah. yeah. His, his will right. is so low that he doesn't care. All right, yeah, going into a rage bumps up his fortitude a little bit, so... Okay, nineteen. I don't. I don't know. That might might be enough. As you bring it and like without any thought, just begin chugging it. It doesn't come all at once. Like it uh, starts like going down, and it is just like it's not going down smooth. <clears throat> like it is like almost choking on it. Like it is sliding down your throat, like molasses. Like it is taking forever to go down, and it is abhorrent honestly as it makes its way to the back of your throat you're just like oh 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 still trying to swallow it down but with the 19 you manage good job as Lars. It as right he, awful as he finishes it he he slams it down and he says uh okay quick give me a shot of your strongest whiskey no problem and he like uh pulls out like an entire mug and just pours whiskey into it and goes past it to you like you'll need it yeah he immediately, well yeah. done well done chases it and he, uh, like, says, oh. it <laughs> the taste does not leave your mouth and it is awful gross it now you can just... go go hang out with shayless <laughs> <laughs> um, hey baby ever kiss the hagfish i got the hagfish on me <laughs> Ooh, inside for protection was, I brought a hagfish. <laughs> inside was twenty five and he passes you the bag of coins and inside was twenty five silver. Oh, oh that does not seem like an appropriate amount to win from this, but okay. <laughs> I mean it's one silver to like do the competition. Uh, that's I mean, true. There's twenty five schmucks yeah. that have attempted this. Jesus. Well no twenty four and then Lars. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't call Lars a schmuck, he's... Listen, I... I'm well aware of what I am and am not capable of. <laughs> sure. Well, okay. So self aware, I love it. <laughs> more, more like I'm, I'm aware of some of the things I am and am not capable of, but some of the things that I can be aware of are outside of my ability to be aware of them, so... 
Uh, and has you chug it down and the, do we have to roll a will save to not get a headache from what he just fucking said <laughs> <laughs> you're all dumber for having heard it <laughs> like, like I have a headache in real life from what he just said take one point of intelligence stance no um, <laughs> alright forever oh, Jargi hands so you a uh, one of the higher intelligence characters at the moment <laughs> Jargi hands you a knife and goes come on man you can carve your name up here why am I Kano now? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, he's spreading. Him. His eye just falls over. It's just metal plating over. Lars uh, you can, walks you can up. carve your name up there now, friend. In Lars the hall. walks up. He uh, he pulls the, you know, he, he holds the knife. He pulls... draw a dick. <laughs> no, he pulls the sheet of paper out above the bar. Hey, happy, you're good at writing. No, no, no. <laughs> so Lars pulls out the, the sheet of paper. You may have seen a few times with the little list on it, but at the top is is his name, and he looks at it, and he starts carving his name in, and he, uh, you know, gets in Lars Cinder Search, and just, you know, the C is really hard, and the, the U is kind of more like a V. Uh, the G <laughs> is almost impossible to read, but after after a little while, he, he's like, all right, there we go. Lars Cinder Search. Uh, just Sir. another Cinder Search. You know, going far and wide in, in this in this world. So he really can't write. Uh, no, he cannot write. Uh, he has a sheet that he can use for referencing some words, but he can. Yeah, that's a, that's the extent of it. A fucking language cheat sheet. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> as as he's like having to look at his own name to spell it. He's tracing. Vren literally looks at everyone else. And goes. For the love of God, tell me it's not him. No, it was uh, not him. No. The leader. Well, he thinks he's the leader, but uh, frankly, I don't think I've listened to a single thing he said. He's running for office. I need to get better at doing that. There are now 29 names carved in the ceiling beam. Of the air, as everyone gives you a hearty cheer, Lars, and patting your back like, yeah! Anyone uh, we recognize? Well done! I sincerely uh, hope that's not a load-bearing beam. <laughs> Uh, nobody you recognize, no. Lars, you know, waves his hand and he says, Remember, uh, when eventually I vote, run for office, vote for Lars Cinder Surge. Yeah, you got my vote. <laughs> As he pukes in the corner, not even finishing his sentence. Sir, it's 3 p.m. Why are you so late? <laughs> it's never too early. <laughs> okay. Can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. That's right. Oh, I need... What day is it? Fair. All right, so we're gonna eat lunch here. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Um, Jargi, Brink, what the fuck have you done? <laughs> What on earth did you just put in that map? <laughs> I was yeah. wondering. No, that's his. That's what he's changed <laughs> oh his gosh. name to. Oh Jesus. Um. Jargi brings over a seat. <laughs> sake. <laughs> All around me are familiar faces. Draw out name. Please kill my game. Oh my god, I'm gonna pick my pants. Anyhow. Hey. <laughs> I love how that's clear, but. Oh, oh god. gosh. So what'd you say, uh, Lars? I just highlight it and I pull it over. And that's how I can read it. I am assimilating this chip. Fuck. Anyhow, um, Jargi brings over a pretty good seafood platter. It's good. It's got, Ooh, got a bad idea. Cooked. Oh, no. Lars, and, Lars is like, um, I'm going to go to the other side of the room real quick. <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> that's that's fine, friend. You drink the drink. It. Whatever, however it comes out, that's fine. Gross. <laughs> oh, I have piss slime. Is that, is, that, <laughs> is that what a rabbit eye actually says? It's just like, gross. Gross. Yeah, she would say that. Yeah, gross. <laughs> He's over there Why did you make corner. it worse? God, I hate this. <laughs> No! Oh my. 
God. It's like, Can I? It's, look, it's like looking into the awful part of the Matrix or some shit. I don't know if there's any way I can force names in Roll20. I think I'm just stuck with that now. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh Jesus. Wow. Thank you. Never again. Please don't. I'm, Wait, can, can you I, write I, text on the map with that? Oh, no. <laughs> no, why have you done this? Why? Why, TJ? Why? TJ, please. Come on. You're supposed to be the reasonable know. one. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, 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 oh god <laughs> damn it. <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Cars, do you enjoy how we always go off the rails? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like us to just stay on track once? <laughs> Sorry, I I it, yep, 2.15. Sounds about right. We hit the witching hour. Yep, that's right. <laughs> oh, Christ. Cars, I, just, I just see Cars as like sculpting this like beautiful thing and then us just sitting in the corner like throwing <laughs> poop at it. Being like, <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Sculpting and beautiful are not words I'd use, but thank you. I show up like, hey, what's going on? Go okay. Literally that, um, <laughs> God, I forget his name, but he's Childish Gambino, not just walking into the room on fire and just being like, oh. Ooh. <laughs> I guess this is what I'm dealing with now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Jackie brings over a seafood platter and sets one out for Lars. <clears throat> hey, Lars, you want some of this seafood and shrimp and... Sea scallops and oysters and <laughs> mussels. I'm just, I, you know what? I'm going to have this uh, this bread and a uh, little bit of water. These oysters taste like snot. <laughs> <laughs> Barkeep, I require your heartiest meal. Oh, you're looking at it. No, I'm busy. As he goes behind the bar and starts, like, Thinking. cleaning bottles like crazy. He goes, okay, I'll get you some in a minute. Just give, give me, give me a, give me about thirty. <laughs> I'm short staffed today. My, my, um, coronavirus. Uh, <laughs> 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 Please are out. Everybody's sick. It's Everybody's throwing outside. up. And Don't make me assimilate this boss. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> I will subtract. My computer's starting um, to lag for making this. Good. <laughs> How to threaten oh, Car a DM. Curse is about to say, like, you know, oh, with with uh, Lars's carving into the beam, you know, that was a weight-bearing beam, uh, and, and it <laughs> collapses and falls and kills everyone. Right. The, the bar so falls, everyone over. dies. The entire bar sinks into the Sandpoint Harp. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's dead. Please make new characters. No. <laughs> Please more, make better characters. More serious <laughs> characters. <laughs> I, it's not even more serious, it's just not. The wall on the right side where all I can make out is this 13. I know, that's all I can see too. <laughs> it's just like, it certainly it certainly was Friday the 13th days ago. Yeah, whatever happened in that space is lost to the annals of time. Like, it's never coming. We, Only we... the gods know what, what lies beyond that black wall. Hey! Right. <clears throat> Oh god, Roll 20's crashing. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, unrecognized command fault, slash smite Alos. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you, really you son of a. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. You <laughs> Can I select it? <laughs> what have you done? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. I can't select it. Oh, oh God. no. I oh, thank God. God. Sorry, everyone, I may have just DDoSed us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We need, we, need, we need to ban you from being able to change your name. That's what really... That's no. right. Oh, fuck. How do we do that? I, I can't do that. That needs to be a thing in Rural 20 is forced player name. There you go. <laughs> ban player from life. I, I can't even. 20, it, the fact that you can change your name, your display name, to <laughs> the, the entire script of the B movie means maybe. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you need to like go in and just just adjust that a little bit. Oh my. I've done that more than once, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, I blacked that out. <laughs> right. <laughs> so anyway, the plots. <laughs> Fast forwarding until after the after we're in the hagfish and right. I can't focus. We're on heading that. towards the glassworks. <laughs> right. Right. Oh my god. Okay, so we're playing Reign of Winter. Now. Right. Go up to the um, Baba Yaga's walking hut. No. Um, right. um, uh, fuck. I shoot myself in the fucking head. <laughs> um, do I no, win if the DM kills himself? <laughs> Let me live. That's Let the only way free. you win D&D, actually. <laughs> that is the only way to win. It was a dream all along. You wake up and shatter. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... um. <laughs> I was deep in the VR matrix. You, you wake up, your hands are bound. You're on a cart heading towards Helgen. <laughs> hey, shut up back there. <laughs> Have some respect. Across the border, eh? <laughs> Convert the entirety of Skyrim into a functional, like, RPG game. That's our next game. It's just Skyrim. <laughs> Um, hey, I'm, on, I'm on. I'm in the middle of it. Give me a minute, guys. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh man, I fell into a bottomless void again. Oh, fuck! I clipped through the planet. I haven't prepped all the way until the dragon starts flying backwards upside down. Without flapping I rolled face. a hump my way up this mountain. <laughs> a saber tooth just starts helicoptering into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> back to the back to Rune Lord. What do I roll anyway, for broken six engine? <laughs> uh, you can't. We're playing it. I'm a cleric of Todd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not uh, uh, getting any boons from that motherfucker. <laughs> That's a Rasmir bait. That's basically Rasmir. The the Rune Lord appears and casts Fireball on everybody and they all die. <laughs> and Sandpoint falls into a fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just crying, losing the image of like the entire. Don't you fucking dare! All right. We're on our way to the glassworks. So, before, as you leave the hagfish, um, Sheriff Hemlock runs down the street toward you like, Shalalu's Shale back. Oh, Shalalu okay. Anderson. Well, she's, she's sent a runner out for her earlier today. She, she met the runner and ran back. Oh, She that's was already the, on her way back. The ranger that's out there? Yes, she has, she has some important uh, words for us all. <clears throat> let's Let's go back to the town hall. Name like Shalalu. She belongs at Sea World or something. <laughs> All right, let's let's go meet her. Come on. All right. I, I named my daughter was. after an Irish bee dick. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to go to the Glassworks. Different. All right, so we follow Hemlock. Yeah. The, sh the Shalalu to the town hall, and uh, as he leads you up sprinting like come on hurry up we gotta go uh, and um Deborah runs as you get there and he leads you past the secretary who still has not come back in the break sign is still there and on it is written a small middle finger aww and um she's living her best life now as you make your way up to uh, Deverin's office, a elven woman meets you up there. <laughs> hey, Rin, never... is this your mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they do, do kind of look alike. Do you know each other? Holy shit! <laughs> and it's just like straight face, just looks her in the face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're my mom now. <laughs> uh, this is what she looks like. <clears throat> Standing next to uh, Kendra Devrin. Yeah, she looks pretty bad. Uh, we should make fun of her. <clears throat> Hemlock uh, stands beside oh, her and says, like, uh, I'm here to... <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm here to introduce you to the um, unofficial member of Sandpoint's town guard, which she smirks at. And, uh, Shalala here, I'm here to greet you to Sandpoint's newest crop of goblin slayers. 
Uh, she's been a thorn in the side of local goblin traps for years. Few in the region know more about them than. Uh, Sandpoint apparently isn't the only place that's been having goblin problems. There's been an increase in goblin-related raids, particularly in the dale between Nettlewood. Only a day ago, a farm south of Mosswood was burnt to the ground by a group of goblins. Thankfully, Shalalu was nearby, and while the farm couldn't be saved, she did rescue the family. The family's staying at a nearby farm now, but the goblin problem. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll um, leave the floor to Shalalu. <clears throat> and she pipes in. Balo has told me of your work against the... Well done. I've dedicated the last several years of my life to keeping them too much trouble around these arts. But the tenacious and fecund little like weeds that bite. Um, I've been told you've been told about the uh, some of the five goblin tribes a little bit by Mayor Devon here. <clears throat> In any event, um, the goblins working together with the sheriffs, usually they don't get along well, but something seems to be orchestrating them. It could be the five goblin tribes are finally unifying. Horrifying. <clears throat> Anyhow, um, Hemlock announces, uh, I'm going to take a few of my guards south to Magnamar to see about securing additional soldiers stationed at the Sandpoint for a few weeks, at least until the extent of the Goblin Threat can be determined. Um, while I'm out, I'm Shalalu to sniff around Shanks Wood, Brian Stump, Moss Wood, Devil's Platter, and other places where goblins live to see if discover anything else about what's going on. I also want you to maintain presence in a few days, if you don't mind. The Lickles seem to have taken to you, as far as I'm aware. And uh, seeing you around town will worries down over the next um, <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start packing my bags to head out to good reinforcement. Best of luck to you. And he, like, nods, for instance or to the barrack. And Shalalu, <clears throat> standing there, says, um, if you all would join me at the we can discuss what you've seen from Sandpoint. And I've got a uh, fair amount of intel about the goblin trying to depart to you all. In part, I mean, each of you. And we can discuss what we know and how we can crush this goblin threat before it even further unification. I'll meet you there next time on Rise of the Real Lords. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Um, and that's where you're cutting it for the night. Cool. Miss, Excellent. Miss, Sh Miss Shalalu, uh, the, the goblins actually had a bizarre objective that seemed to have something to do with the boneyard. Perhaps you and I could uh, go alone to no, investigate. No, 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 hey, no, no. God no, damn it. No. I thought this was going to be serious for a minute. <laughs> nope. Alright. Well, I'll end the broadcast now. Uh, Alright. Hey, listen, just because Lars doesn't want to get laid. <laughs>